Got another Gauntlet Elite. Here we go. Oh shit, I got a Mimic. Hell yeah. Third one. That's my third one, yep. Sick. Let's go and uh, kill ourselves a Mimic. I'm gonna eat up because that actually hurt. Yay, new personal best. 29 seconds. Cool. Let's open it up. Here we go. Oh my god! <laughs> I got a third age ring! Let's go! <laughs> I got a third age ring, dude. Holy shit. Nice! I think we got lucky. Hell yeah, dude. Holy shit. <laughs> What's the loot without the ring? Uh, <laughs> I don't know, man. I honestly don't know. Hold on, hold on. I actually can't believe I got the third age ring. Wow, that's insane. 85k by the way. Yo, this is the best elite clue I've ever done. Okay, I've ever gone. All right, for sure. Before we start off with today's prize video, I want to thank today's sponsor, Get Real, Raw, Dark, Epic, and Awesome. Raid Shadow Legends is a brand new collection RPG game that is dominating the mobile gaming landscape. More than 10 million players worldwide enjoy the game. What does Raid offer? All of these features, such as a fully voiced story campaign. What I like about raids is the ability to grind your characters how you want. Check out the detail on these champions. This game is totally free with over 300,000 reviews. Raid has an almost perfect score on the Play Store. This game is growing super fast and check out this cool roadmap that they published. New faction, a tag team arena feature, and even a new clan boss you will be able to fight with your clanmates. If this fits your cup of tea, go to the video description, click on the special links, and you will get 50,000 silver and a free epic champion as part of the new player program to start your journey. All right, this is perfect. This is perfect testing ground for the third age. No, 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 don't say the ring, dude. You can't say anything, you can't say anything. Which one's the most expensive, the long sword? Where's the long sword, sword? Ah, who's gonna take the bait? All right, all right. Yo, I think someone, someone tried. Does it work in free to play? I, I don't know if it works in free to play. Does it work? Oh my freaking god, it works in free to play. This is insane. Okay. All right. Let's uh, let's do let's do a range top instead. Oh my god, this thing works in free to play, dude. That's actually crazy. I can't believe they let a they let a members item actually work like that. That's insane, dude. Free to play. Oh, we got a noob. No move. The noob's on top of me. No, can't see it because he's on top. So I need to move again. Let's go to this side. Let's go to this side. So I legit forgot that the mimic even dropped the third H ring, just because it's one of those newer items, and I haven't really been you know focusing a lot on cosmetics, but. The third age ring is like the other transmog rings that exist in this game. Stuff like the ring of stone, the ring of coins, and the ring of nature. So if you wear it, it'll turn you into the appropriate thing. And the third age ring is probably the coolest one of the lots because you can turn into any third age item you want. So I just wanted to see how rare this ring is. So the chance of getting a third age ring from a mimic is 1 in 44. So it's not that rare from the boss. However, you also have to take into consideration the chance of even getting a Mimic in the first place from your Clue Scrolls. So it's a 1 in 35 chance to see a Mimic from Elites, and a 1 in 15 chance to see a Mimic from Masters. So I got it from the Elites, so this is the rarest occurrence of the Mimic. We get ourselves 1,540 Elite Clues. That's insane. So the average amount to get a Mimic from Elites is wild, okay? And for Masters, on average, it's 660 Master Clues. I haven't even done even half of that. It takes a long time to like even get 100 plus Elites, 100 plus Masters. You know, I only have about 200 plus for both Elites and Masters. So cumulatively speaking, I still am not even close. I think it's fair to say that not many Iron Man is going to have this ring. So it's definitely a cool novelty item worth showing off for sure. Oh shit, I got Armadale again. <laughs> I mean, look, look, I'm not gonna say no to that, so uh, I'll save that for tomorrow. I'll do another one. Insert classic. Oh my god, Rune Sword drop to the video. So I started incorporating the Slaughter Bracelet into my Armadale task just because I wanna get some more kills, and it's been working out pretty well. 
I just use it as soon as Armadale dies, so I get the armor boss and usually the last two minions that's left over. And I'm able to get an extra 10 to 15 kills with the slaughter, so that's really nice. The only downside is that I have to do two trips instead of one. I usually just do the whole task in one trip, but two trips isn't too bad just because it's a lot more relaxing. One trip Armadale uh, task usually uh, requires quite a bit of effort, so two is like a lot less effort. It's more relaxing, so nice change of pace. The only bad to back I really want is honestly Armadale. Yeah. Oh, nice. Armadale again. Cool. It was worth the skip. I got something better. I got something better. Thank you. Slowly getting there. Oh, we just hit 1800 KC. Nice. Holy shit. I'm gonna chin all three of them. Okay. Weird things can happen at the start of the kill. Sometimes they all just like stack up and yeah, you see this formation. All right, we got here a 13 KC, 429. So I'll confess my love. There you go. Please. No. Fuck it anyways, bro. Fuck it, bud. All right, master from the gauntlet elite. Here we go, boys. Oh man, I already have this. I get these so often, dude. Like, seriously. How do I have five of these? Alright, guys. Really unfortunate event. I don't have my master clue anymore. As you can see, and it's simple. I forgot to pick it back up on the ground. 100% gone. But I'm still getting the nature stuff, obviously, because it's just for any clue scroll in the future, any masters. Just kind of sucks though, because I wanted to have a clue ready to be done. Holy crap, guys. This is it. I am out of granite dust. Dude, if you were following from the beginning of this grind, I had 100,000, and then I got another 15,000 from three grotesque guardian tasks. Wow, man. It's over, bro. That's it? That's insane. So... That means I've used 115,000 after the 50,000 that I used. So I've used 165,000 cannonballs so far on the Moss Giant grind. So how am I going to keep track of the cannonballs from this point onwards? It's going to be a little bit more difficult because uh, before I didn't really have to keep track, you know? This kind of just told it all. So I guess I'm just going to have to make an effort to track down the cannonballs every day manually. Yeah crazy that's how i did on my main oh smoke battle stuff let's go it's been a while i don't even remember this this is like completely off dude all right hold on this thing is super jumbled to the point that i have no idea what the hell to even begin anymore okay this one's way better this one's already done i got this from dermy actually yeah here we go oh another black demon mask dude I'm just a freaking Demon Max Magnet, dude. I'm really good at getting those. Alright, let's go. We got 20 keys today. 444. Four, four. Wow, 464kc tonight. Roll of the slot machine. Oh my god, I can't believe it, dude. Damn, 465, dude. Shit. Alright, well. It goes a little harder, though, obviously. Oh my lord. I think that's just my 10th freaking giant scroll. Champion scroll. Oh my lord. Okay. Another crystal weapon C. Why am I so lucky at these? Seriously. That was pretty good. 450kc at the gauntlet. We're back. We're back for uh, some decent runs for this blade here. Using rune light. Oh, I got it! What the fuck? Yo, I was literally talking about wanting to get the Devout Boots. Wait, I actually got it. Yeah, let's go. Awesome, man. Wait, is this, the, is this the one? I gotta make sure this is the one, to be honest. Because I know this thing drops, like, another thing or tooth. Oh, no, it creates the Buddha Brimstone. No, I didn't get it. This wasn't the one. All right, what does this one do? Oh, no, I got the shit one, dude. Damn it, man. I, I need to get the Drake's Tooth for the Devout Boots. Alright, so let's just do this, man. Drake's Claw. 
on the boots of stone and I can make myself the boots of brimstone. I don't think many people have this. Stats are okay. 5 range, 3 magic. Interesting tribrid hybrid boots. No negative stats, which is cool. Yeah, man, I might just troll with it at Zora. Just because these won't be too bad, you know, of boots for Zora since I range a mage. Oh shit, there we go. That's huge. 1800 tasks completed. And I got the big fat 500 Slayer Point bonus. Oh, back to back! Yours? Wh who's? Who's? Oh, Mary Jane's purple! Let's go! <laughs> Holy shit, it's the day the day. Oh no, how does that even happen, dude? Ah, Please, man, give it to me. Oh my god, rune score shield, bro. Alright, damn, dude. Next time I come back, I'm gonna be 500 KC, dude. Holy fuck. Alright, Iron Magics, thanks for the good luck, man. Yeah, I often uh, miss some messages because I, I just AFK, you know, a lot. <laughs> But yeah, man, appreciate the message. Yo, this looks good. It matches the cape. Alright, so we're gonna start testing out some crystal armor. Mainly that's all right, because I can't get this Abyssal Sire task, you know, when I'm pet hunting. But dude, it just matches so well with the max cape. Well, the max assembler cape. So yeah, let's see what the crystal bow with 15% extra damage and 30% accuracy. Mm, hitting pretty alright. This would be the phase for the for the crystal armor to hit. Okay, I just hit a pretty uh, decent XP drop. I oh a thirty six, nice with the crystal bow. All right, not bad, not bad. Four ticks, you know, for a thirty six. Oh, elite clue scroll. Um, yeah, second kill with the setup, not bad. And this was the phase, you know, blue phase where you you range a lot, so. Crystal Bow hit pretty uh, pretty good. I didn't really miss many hits, you know. We, we saw the 36 as well for the max. Hmm. That's not bad. All these times so far has been under 2 minutes. But then again, I, I feel like my magic... My magic has been carrying me a lot, though. After testing Zora with a Crystal Bow for a bit, I've come to a few conclusions. But before I get into the conclusions, let me talk to you how I did it. So... My first test was to use the crystal bow on the blue phase only. And the kills that I managed to get time-wise with that setup was under 2 minutes. Pretty much all the time. I would say the mage armor definitely carried a lot though because I had max mage. Now, once I switched over to crystal bow against blue phase and green phase, that's when you start realizing the crystal bow's DPS, even with the armor set effect, just isn't really that great. There was a few kills where I went over 2 minutes, which is pretty, you know, rare for me, uh, considering I have max gear of everything else. So my verdict for the Crystal Bow at Zora with the armor set is pretty mediocre. I'm not gonna lie. It's probably your third best option when it comes to range, uh, being behind, obviously, the Twisted Bow and the Blowpipe. But I really can't see someone, especially in Iron Man, having Crystal Armor and Crystal Bow, and not having a blowpipe. Even on a main account. I just can't see you having crystal armor, crystal bow. And not have a blowpipe. So, however, there are still two places that I'm pretty damn certain that is really good for. Which is Sire and Hydra. So, I want to be able to test that in the future when I get the task for them. What is this setup, bro? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. This is amazing. Oh man, uh, snake skin body, green D hide, obsidian shield, blue party hat, whip. Alright, that should do it. Uh, spawn the melee guy though, still. Whoa, really? Oh my god, that's insane. Now I'm back on the average for, uh, what do you call it? The, uh, Armadale hilts. Jeez. But yeah, you, you want to get your stats to like 70, bro. 70s at least. Oh, nice! Wait, what the f? I got it from a minion. Oh my god, dude. Hell yes. Crazy, bro. I haven't gotten a, a drop from a minion before at Armadale. Oh, I just hit 1900 KC at the Armadale. Wow. Slaughter bracelets really just racking up those extra kills like no tomorrow, man. It's good stuff. I gotta get back my rhythm. What the f? 
I got a dragon spear. Okay. Oh, Zamekian spear. Hell yeah. I know y'all have anxiety, but I don't pick this up, so I'll do I'll do y'all the favor. Pick it up real quick. All right, today's a big day, no matter what happens, because I'm gonna hit 500 plus KC on the Brio Fighter Boss. All right, this is big. This is really big. Like 500's big. Here we go. Oh man, okay. <clears throat> but milestone has been achieved. We're halfway to a thousand. I might have jinxed myself by saying that. Please don't. But yeah, man, 500 KC on this boss. I, I think I'm dreaming, man. I'm about to pinch myself real quick, you know? Like, all right, we're not dreaming. This is actually real. When I reached the 500 KC, I decided to post on the RuneScape Twitter. I have a Twitter, by the way, Asian Rest Cup. Just for some sympathy, you know? Just for a little bit of that. And I found someone interesting in the process. So there is an Iron Man that exclusively plays free to play. And he has a thousand mother trucking Brio Fighter KC. Oh my god! This guy's insane, bro. He's killed over 100,000 Moss Shines with like a freaking Overs Club or something. Yeah, it's ridiculous, man. But you know what? It's kind of inspirational, man. It's kind of inspirational. So at least I know there's someone that's killed more than me. I mean, this guy can't even get the essence. He's free to play, bro. He killed a thousand and he doesn't even care that he can't get the essence, bro. It's insane. A few quick words before I end. My friend shot's always open, Mr. Iron Bar. Anybody can join as long as you're cool and you're chill. And also, if you want to keep up to date, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click on the bell. That way you'll see when the next episode come out. Might get the staff, you never know. And also, I stream daily on Twitch at Rice Cup. So hit us up on Twitch as well if you're interested in the live action of Mr. Iron Bar. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching the video. I really hope you enjoyed. I will see you guys soon, hopefully with another video in a week. Take care and bye-bye.